And we can now show you the fire's explosive growth over the past several hours. The flames burning northeast. This was the fire uh, this time yesterday. And as of this afternoon, it has burned through the community of Grizzly Flats and is now moving north towards uh, Jenkinson Reservoir, Pollock Pines, and also Sly Park, Happy Valley, Grizzly Flats, and Somerset have all evacuated. We have Lime TV coverage at 4 o'clock. We begin with CBS 13's Marissa Perlman, who is just off Grizzly Flats Road in front of a burned out home on Evergreen Road. Yeah, hey, Curtis, the devastation is frankly hard to see. Uh, we've been here for hours and it feels uh, apocalyptic right now. We are here in Grizzly Flats. We're off of Evergreen, off of String Canyon Road uh, between Wooded Glen and Gold Aspen Drive. And this sadly is a lot of what we're seeing. Homes completely burned to the ground. Heavy smoke still in the air uh, at this hour. Uh, here in Evergreen, you have a lot of this. I'm going to have uh, Dennis kind of show you these, these burnt out cars. These are classic cars and classic trucks in front of this home here. And this is what we're seeing lining the street. Um, and again, you can tell the story of, of this fire here in, in Grizzly Flats. I don't know if Dennis can turn the other way and show you uh, the house behind us. Um, again, this is a house here uh, which uh, is completely left standing. So apologies for the shaky camera movement there. But we want to show you this because this is what's happening on either side of the street throughout Grizzly Flats. On one side, you have complete destruction. The other side, you have these homes that look like they've been barely touched by this devastation. Um, when we got to town, you know, this is what we're seeing. Uh, more homes burned to the ground than left standing, sadly. Um, we also went to uh, the elementary school here in town this afternoon, Walter Tyler Elementary off of Tyler Road. Uh, there we saw, you know, burnt up desks, the storage facility gone, the playground sadly burnt to the ground, and the nearby post office in Grizzly Flats were told uh, burnt as well. You know, with the fire crews here, you know, they're working hard. We spoke with one firefighter earlier today who's on the front lines of this. He's from Grizz Grizzly Flats. He said his own home is completely burnt to the ground. He's out here putting out these hot spots, surveying the damage, and he saw an American flag, or what was left of it, took it and tried to put it on his truck in hopes of one day returning it to his neighbor. So again, you know, Grizzly Flats, a population of about 1,200 people. Many people who live here that we spoke with say they left late last night, they left quickly, and they knew, sadly, many of them say they knew they wouldn't return to much. Well, Marissa, we do know some people stayed behind. We do know more about those two people who were injured. One person who stayed behind uh, walked up to a firefighter saying, I'm seriously hurt. We know somebody else was severely burned. But the people who you've come across today, did anybody stay in that neighborhood last night? One family that we spoke with told us that they waited until the last possible minute. This was a, um, a husband, a wife, and their young son, only nine months old. They were here until just before midnight last night. They don't live far from, from where we're standing. We went and checked out their home, and sadly, it's also uh, burned to the ground. But they said they were holding out. This community is close. They care about their neighbors. They care about their property. Uh, this family said, you know, we saw the writing on the wall when the ash from the sky started falling on them as they were packing up their trailer and had to get out quickly. So again, they, they put their safety first at that moment. Yeah, a frightening situation in daylight hours, let alone in the middle yeah. of the night trying to escape this. Yes. All right, Marissa, thanks so much for the update. We will check back with you in a little bit, certainly.